what I'm really, I've been really looking forward to talking to you because I saw, and I think that the timing of it was when Ignite went public. All of a sudden, like the in going public, the financial records of the company are, are made public for all to see. And there was just what looked like a wave of like financial YouTubers just saying, oh, this is a slam dunk. Like, oh, Ignite's going to declare bankruptcy any minute now. It's a, and like, I'm like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And yeah, then- they've been waiting for like three years for that. So, so basically, so it went public, I think, in like 18. It kind of like went public like right off the bat. Um, but then the financials are a little bit delayed. Um, and I think it was basically like when COVID really hit and I was and I was moving out of the house in L.A. because we couldn't throw parties. Um, you know, our like production got stopped in China. It was like this whole thing. So we were like, OK, let's cut costs. And we're really like selling the wrong product, honestly. That was the real issue. It's like we came into the thing doing weed, but you're only in a certain, you know, couple uh-huh. of states. And 80% of my following is outside the US, right? So I'm like dropping atomic bombs on anthills every time I do a post. It's like all these people, they want to buy the product, but there's no product to sell them, right? So right. when we switched over to the nicotine, the vapes, then it was like, you know, bam, like worldwide, everybody can get them, we can ship them, better margins, just entirely better business there's not a lot of guys in the pot business killing it at all i think like burner might be the only one um just because you're competing with the black market they don't have to test right. their shit you know there's like <clears throat> they're not paying taxes you tax the legal guys like the same as cocaine dealers as 280e so like they get no write-offs it's just a brutal business they can't bank so they're dealing with cash basically all the negatives of like doing an illegal business but like it's technically legal and right. then you're competing against other guys that aren't playing by the rules. So it's like they're not testing their products. They don't have to wait. So it's like, and they're going direct to consumer. They're not paying $18 million for a fucking license. So their margins don't have to be as high. It's like this whole thing, right? So we got out of that. That was a fucking godsend. But the real like hail of press came down when we fired our CEO. So our CEO, we fired him. He was like, I honestly think the dude was like doing drugs. He was so erratic. Like I think he had like a real problem. But anyways, didn't you have like the... multiple CEOs? Like yeah. you kind of cycled through a number of them. Yeah, I think he was like our third one. Right. So we got rid of him, and he did this whole like whistleblower thing, and like went to the press. He basically like was trying to like blackmail us for money, and we're like, "Fuck you! We're not paying you." He goes to the press, like you know they're blowing money, they're doing this, they're doing that. And so the press did some articles and then all the YouTube guys jumped on that bandwagon. Right. And we like weren't profitable. We had lost like, I think it was like $50 million, which if you think about like the grand scheme of a company, like Uber lost like 5 billion and a quarter. You know what I mean? Right. There's like a lot of like really valuable companies that aren't even profitable. Like Tesla sure. was like not profitable for a long time. Yeah, and Netflix so, isn't profitable, I think. There's a ton of them, you yeah. know, there's a ton of them. So like when you're starting a business and you're, and you're building a brand, like many times you're not gonna be profitable, especially, you know, we're in the wrong business. So there was like that whole thing. And then like every YouTuber jumped on and it was just like negative press, negative press. And I thought about addressing it, but it was like a weird thing because you know, these YouTube guys, you got a million views, 2 million views, but every post of mine is getting 40, right. 50 million fucking views. So it's like, do I want to like shine right. a big fucking light on these assholes? Right. And I think it would have been like, it would have been different if like CNN did some shit, you know? Right. But it was like these random YouTube kids. So I just chose to like focus on my book and like not really like address it. But then that kind of like sent a wildfire of like, you know, all this like uncontested stuff. And, you know, as you know, like the bad press always does better than the good press. So yeah, it was like, it was crazy. You know, I'm like worth $350 million. These people are like, he's going broke. He's fleeing the country. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I I, I agree completely. I agree completely with that approach. Um, You know, like, uh, silence is the deadliest weapon for sure but i think that when that was stuff was going on you did get pretty quiet on your instagram but didn't you not post for a while there yeah so i was writing that book for two years man okay dude like, I, I, just, I legitimately wrote the whole fucking thing and did like all but one edit myself so it was wow. a fucking big project i just put out my second book i wrote it with a co-writer and man it's the gnarliest amount of work 
Yeah, well, I wasn't a reader and I wasn't a fucking writer. So, like, <laughs> doing, doing a 500, well, it started at 708 pages. So, like, right. doing a, you know, a book right. that, like, reduced to 500 pages is a fucking, like, big undertaking for a guy that doesn't write. And then doing all your edits, like, minus right. one. I did 36 of the 37. So, yeah. Do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is, Steve O's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And. If you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Stevo's butthole destroyer, and Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude.